CRM is a very interesting practice. Although people tend to believe that it has already been nailed, CRM is pushing the boundaries of how do I contact with you? How do I manage my relationship with you, my guest, beyond my control on the usual EM or DM, so email and direct mail. And what we have found is that you start collecting data and having a customer 360 degree view on that individual and the preferences and profiles and personas, being able to tackle and communicating with him on his own terms, it could be via Twitter like we're doing today, or it could be as simple as finding a way through Facebook to reconnect with those guests. Any possible way that we do have permissions we'll use that will transcend the way email and direct mail has been used today. Most of the big data actually, we, we've lived with it for quite a while. The only difference is now how creative you can be by bringing all the pieces together. So, for instance, if you do have a lot of data on your site, people who come to you as visitors and they never convert until eventually they convert, being able to understand all those multiple visits on an individual level basis can help you start segmenting your file and segmenting your database and see, oh, these are the individuals that I need two page search touch points, one SEO or organic search pay, uh, point until I get to the person finally converting after he received an email. It could be advertising. How do we do with retargeting versus just banner ads? So once you start mining all those big data sets and bring it into very finite uh, small elements that lead us to conversion, then we start optimizing media buys. We do what we call fractional attribution modeling. So all those pieces come together and that truly is a, is a, is a way to, to use the big data today to help us like, uh, invest in media more wisely. Revenue management is indeed a practice in which people have the tendency, very simplistically speaking, of forecasting occupancy in the long run and understanding where you're going to have demands and high peaks in demand and, and need periods and how do you address those gaps by, by probably overlaying with different ways of reaching out to different segments and say how do I close those voids or if I am at capacity how do I play with the price optimization to increase demand. Very seldom in revenue management people start looking at all the marketing components, the marketing ecosystem and see how that affects the whole revenue management. So from the four P's that marketing owns, we talk about placement or distribution channels, there's very little transparency in the way revenue management look into those pieces. The same thing with the, with the promotions that we run. So usually marketing is not necessarily, from a revenue management perspective, changing occupancy or future occupancy bookings or whatever you want to call it. They, they just think that the forecasting will be repeatedly based on seasonality or any other major factors such as citywide events and other specific repeatable uh, patterns in the data that can help them predict sales. And that's where I think it's going to be disruptive. The introduction of marketing, incorporate marketing to very complex algorithms to help you predict occupancy in the long run.